So hi and welcome to part four. Uh, in this series, I'm remaking on how to make your own social network. Um, well, I'm not actually remaking the whole series. I'm remaking the first 14 videos of it. So uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating uh, the menu for our social network. So let's get started. So what we want to do is we're going to come down here and we want to create another div. And we want to give, whoops, we want to give it the ID of menu. And uh, I'll just point something out that the reason sometimes you use classes and sometimes you use IDs is a class is usually used for something that you would only use on your, that you would use in your web page multiple times. Uh, so I suppose we could have used IDs for these. But an ID is something that uh, you only use on your web page once. I mean, you can use the same thing with this, or you can use multiple elements with the same ID, but that's just generally what people do. They use the IDs for things like the menu, because that's only going to be on at once. And things like, um, I don't know, menu items, if you wanted to style them, uh, specifically, you, you could uh, put a class on them and that would, uh, a class on them because you would have multiple menu items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link. And the link's just going to say home. And we're going to just put in a, a hashtag in there. Just to make sure that uh, when we, so when we click it, it doesn't take us to any weird pages, or it doesn't take us to the um, it doesn't reload the page. This one it'll just um, do nothing basically with the hashtag in it. So the second menu item is going to be about. The third one is going to be uh, sign up, and the fourth one is going to be sign in. And we'll get rid of these last two. So let's refresh the page now, and we'll see. We have this quite ugly looking um, menu. It's not really even a menu yet, but we have these four links that are ugly looking. So since we, the links don't look that good, we're going to use CSS to uh, style them and make them uh, actually look good. So we're going to come down here to the bottom of the file and we're going to um, access the menu ID. So we'll say menu and then we'll access the link element within that, which is the anchor tag we'll access uh, within the menu ID. I mean, with within the element with the idea of menu, and then we're gonna so we're gonna set the text color equal to uh, white, so F F F F F F, which is uh, the hexadecimal or the uh, just HTML color code for white. We'll set text decoration to none, which means no underlines or anything like that. The font size, oops, font size will be fourteen pixels. The background image will be uh, the same as this, so it will be it'll be this uh, background or this menu BG image up here. We're gonna set background repeat equal to no repeat padding. Whoops. Padding top equal to 19 pixels, padding bottom equal to 22 pixels, and we just need to put a semicolon up there. Uh, padding left 10 pixels, and padding, oops, keep doing that, uh, padding right 10 pixels as well. Then we're going to set the hover, so we're going to say menu a hover, which means we're access. Whoops, let's get rid of that. This means we're going into the element with the idea of menu, then we're going into the anchor tags within that, and what, what, like we did up here, but then we're not going into just anchor tags, we're going to do the anchor tags whenever they're hovered over. So this means this class, well, this um sort of class, will only run whenever we hover our mouse over the anchor tags within the uh, element with the idea of menu. So we're going to copy this stuff from up here to uh, keep make things quicker. And then we're going to say menu bg uh, underscore hover underscore mouse over or underscore over I mean. So this is just the hover image for our menu items. Font size stays the same. Um, 
The padding top this time will be uh, 18 pixels. Uh, padding bottom was still 22. And left and, and left and right is a 10. Actually, we'll make that 19. Uh, that shouldn't actually change. So we'll get rid of actually all of these. The only thing we need to uh, include in here is what we're going to change. Otherwise, everything will be kept the same. So the only thing we're going to change is the mouse over image. So uh, as you can see in the image folder, I have the uh, menu underscore bg underscore hover underscore mouse underscore over uh, image, uh, which is going to be our hover over image. So let's refresh the page now. And as you can see, we have four menu items. We can wave our mouse over them. And as you can see, the uh, background color of, the, of each of the menu items changes. So what we want to do now is we actually want to make them line up on the menu properly. So what we're going to do now is we're actually just going to copy this and we're going to paste it up here. And we're going to get rid of the uh, AS so that it's just menu. So it accesses just the elements with the idea of menu. And we're going to delete everything here except the uh, background image URL. And we're also going to surround this in something called a media query. So just copy the query as I uh, write it on the screen. So what a media query is, is it just means that this this um, will only run if the uh, media query is true. So this means if the browser is less than or uh, if the width of the browser is 1280 pixels, um, well like if it's maximum width is 1280 pixels then this query will run. Uh, the other one we want to do is we want to copy it again and we want to set the minimum width so we'll just change that to min and now this means if the minimum width is 1280 pixels then this will run. So what we're going to say is position absolute uh, top uh, 0 pixels, right 0 pixels, height 37 pixels, padding uh, top 19 pixels, Margin right, 4%. And then let's just copy this and paste it in here and change the margin right to 6%. And let's refresh the page. So as you can see now, the menu lines up over here on the um, right-hand side of the page. We're also going to create, also need to actually create two more queries. So let's just copy this and paste it down here. And this query is going to say uh, minimum width 400 pixels. And then we want to set the min margin right to 10%. And then we're going to set the minimum width uh, to 1920 pixels. I want to set the margin right equal to 25%. So as you can see, nothing changed because the media queries. Uh, are still incorrect because of the browser size, but what should I, as you can see, what's happening is the uh, menus, the menu is staying um, at the same distance away from the edge of the page. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.